good afternoon. Good evening. It's a lovely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is calculated as a whole week. But the most important reason why I was counting the days is today is Friday. The beginning of the weekend. What did you do last week Friday that you have repeated this Friday? My friend, I greet you. Good morning. Last week, Friday. Good afternoon. Good evening. And a good night. The life we live has a meaning to the things we do. For the whole of this week, my lecture for everyone watching me is failures and achievers are the same. Whoever failed was attempting to achieve. And whoever has achieved overcame failure. But thanks be to God the one who makes all things possible that no matter what you think of there's a reason and there's a purpose I have to listen to an audio, a motivational audio. I'm happy you are here, Eva. Eva, today I was on, I was on movement. The topic was very interesting. That between men and women, when it comes to relationship, which people are more wicked? That was a good discussion. And Mami Dufie took a good stand against all odds to fight what they were trying to put on her. I have been talking to you about failures and achievers. I am a failure and an achiever. Can you tell yourself, I am a failure and an achiever? Because every achiever overcame failure. The first opportunity to live is to see the appearance of the sun 
and it's going down to give way for the appearance of the moon and you have witnessed it because i asked you what you did last week friday did you repeat it today at the same time in the same place with the same people in the same dress with the same mind did you so the fact that you have made it to another friday it means you have overcome the failure of death what you might be going through now will not be nice it could be a painful activity it could be a disappointment from a friend it could be somebody who promised to help you bury somebody tomorrow but the signs on the wall shows that the momo is not coming but last week friday by this time last week friday by this time money was begging in your hands so it should be used by you I know. I know. I'm sure and convinced that a lot is going on in your life and most of them doesn't give you the green light to even have appetite to eat but i want to eat on your behalf you are welcome to my branch if you're hungry as i swallow the food swallow your saliva i love you and you know i love you Even if nobody knows I love you, you know I love you. Because love is a feeling that you feel for the feeling, through the feeling of the feeler. Oh my God, what a definition. As an achiever or a failure, what naturally is the challenge in life is inevitable but achievers and failures will always be at the top and once you be at the top you become the topic oh nana my rinchua pedu my love you are there yeah don't be a failure be an achiever The reason is because this life has morning and evening, but we regularly forget about the afternoon. And this is what I have for you today. It is not just morning and evening. Just because in the creation of God in the book of Genesis, it says, and there was morning and evening, and the Lord created the next day. So we have come to ignore the afternoon. But life is about morning, afternoon, and evening. So what you are supposed to do in the morning, if you don't do it and the afternoon comes, 
you have failed the money, but the opportunity to be an achiever in the afternoon is there. So life is not morning and evening, but morning, afternoon, and evening. So God created both the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. So when you're planning life and wishing to achieve, so you will come failure and become a master of failures. Remember that the day you enter has three different segments. And each of the segments have a package for its own self. And each of them have a sense of failure for its own self. And each of them have a sense of achievement for its own self. Don't also forget that the angels that are deployed, each of them have assignment for morning and immediately when their time ends, they give way for angels of the afternoon. And when it ends, they give way for the angel of the night. You cannot overkeep a morning angel to enter into the afternoon because you are going to bring confusion between the angels that are on assignment. It is a program. This is why I want you to know that when you wake up in the morning, check what your morning has for you. The first thing you need to check in the morning, am I alive? You can't know whether you are alive in the evening. Because the transition period from darkness into light has so many mysteries. For you to sleep and wake up in the morning, it is not your clock. It is not your alarm that woke you up. There is a supreme being. His name is God Almighty. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end Lord. The one who created human being with the dust of the earth. And breathed into his nostrils. And made man to become a living being. He owns the breath. And for the reason of your living. He gives you opportunity to see a morning. The last meal you ate will give you a good smile to bed. As a matter of fact, where your house is located is not a determining factor for you to be alive the next day. Whoever you sleep with doesn't guarantee your morning. There is a man. There is a man who nobody can be equated to. He told Moses, tell them, I am that I am. He owns life. So when he gives you the morning, he has a package in the morning. My sister, my brother, what did you use your five mornings for? From morning to this time, what have you achieved? What have you attempted and failed? It is not morning and evening. Morning, afternoon, and evening. We don't consider the dawn. Because we equate the dawn to be part of the evening. But like the dews of heaven. Have a time therefore. No dew comes in the afternoon. So I love the songwriter that sings a song with the dews in it. He says, Let the dews of heaven rain now. A refreshing so us. Show us thy glory once more. Show us thy glory, O Lord. Show us that glory, O oh Lord. Let the dews from heaven rain now. A refreshing 
show us that glory once more. There's a due and there's a time for due. But this morning when you woke up, did you say thank you to God? I keep saying that. The reason why I am not God is because regularly, the way we behave in the morning, if I were God, I don't know how I could have behaved. But there is a day that all of us should not forget that it comes in three parts. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Maybe today, I want to provoke you to do an analytical aspect of just this Friday. What I've been going through from morning till afternoon was pleasant. It started as an attempt to fail. And before the afternoon ended for me to enter into, the morning ended for me to usher myself into the afternoon, I achieved. So today, I have achieved something. And I'm happy it happened. Because in life, if you don't take risk, take a decision to die. And even dying is a risk. As for the rest of you who want to go to heaven, I wish you well. Bye-bye. Go. Me. Any car that must be manufactured with my name, I have to drive it before I go to the heaven. Don't you feel ashamed you want to go to heaven whilst you don't have a driver's license? When God gives you a car in heaven, how will you drive? The way you are behaving, if you go to heaven, Will you live there? Have you taken the evaluation of your morning? How did you treat this morning? I feel sad when I meet people who wake up in the morning and they frown their face. If you wake up in the morning with headache and you pamper the headache, the headache will stay. But when you wake up in the morning and there's headache, tell the headache. Aleno again. Number two will be here. Each way, no, but 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 no, Don't frown. Don't regret you find yourself in the morning. Some people have sleepless night, but they doze off. I'm saying, Every day contains morning, afternoon, and evening. And whatever you are supposed to achieve in the morning, when you don't achieve it and the afternoon comes, you have failed the morning. What did you fail doing this morning? What did you fail doing this morning? Ask yourself. Just ask. Just ask. Have you remembered? Let's learn that I have three different segments in a day. And I don't have control over the morning, afternoon, and evening. But as long as I am in it, I will take my portion out of the day. Oh, I don't know who I just spoke to. Now watch it here. You don't have control over the morning. <laughs> and and God has become an alata man recently. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, some time ago, we know when summer will end. Some time ago, we know when, you know, winter will come. Some time ago, we know when snow is coming. And for us in Ghana, we know what is dry season and what is the wet season. It's a rainy season. We are planning events according to the rainy season. But if you want to be honest to yourself, for some time now, you cannot even determine how the day is going to go like. There are no signs of rain. There are no signs of sunshine. Because per your natural calendar of a day, this morning is so bright. 
that there's nothing showing that is about to rain. Then all of a sudden, the rain begins to fall. God has become an alata man. And he does it according to his own will. But please, I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading with you from the depth of my heart. Appreciate your morning. The first thing you want to do with yourself in the morning is anybody around you, when you wake up in the morning and you say, thank you God that I'm in another morning, say good morning to everybody around you. Take charge of your morning. Remember, you don't have control over the morning. You don't have. No, you don't have control. You don't have control. No rich man has control over the morning. But as you learn that the morning comes, the afternoon comes, and the evening comes, you are secured. You can see somebody yesterday. Nice. Happy. Exactly in the next two hours, you are giving a bad news about the person. And when they tell you what happened to the person, the same thing happened to you, but you are still alive. Oh God, I am grateful, Judge Lutrox. I don't know about you. What you are supposed to do in the morning, if you don't do in the afternoon camps, the angel in charge of the morning will go. Maybe you don't believe it. Let me show you something here. Hmm. He said, you would not fear the toro of night. So there's night. Nor the arrow that flieth by day. So there is day. Nor the pestilence that stuck in darkness. Nor the plague that destroyed at midday. I'm not reading a storybook. I am not reading a storybook. So I'm quoting for you Psalm 91 and I read from verse number 5. That God created evening and morning but divided them with each angels. Verse 11, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So there is an angel for the morning, an angel for the afternoon, an angel for the evening. And there is a supernatural angel for the night. The rain that falls in Ghana and the rain that falls in America, they are not the same. The mystery of God is that you might be in your afternoon and I will be in my morning. I just launch myself into my afternoon and I ask the morning angel, can you go back? Don't keep your morning angel to your afternoon angel. Whether you have survived, you have achieved, or you have failed, tell the morning angel, give way for the midday angel to come. All the people around me will tell you I hate negative energy. Achieve. 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 Fail. Fail. Achieve. Fail. Achieve, fail, achieve, fail, achieve. Have a hallmark of achievement out of your failures. Let your morning be a morning. Don't carry your morning into your afternoon. Bygones must be bygone.
You're talking too much. You're complaining too much. The angels who are supposed to be there in the morning make use of them. And the funny thing is that a Monday angel in the morning is not the same angel that comes on Tuesday. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Whatever you are going through right now, there is an end. There is an end. There is an end. There is no cycle that has no end. Once there's a cycle, there is an end to it. Every cycle began without an end, but finds an end. It will come to pass. All shall pass. All shall pass. So I'm not feeling well in the morning. My body was not comporting itself well. My mind was not comporting itself well. And it started from 12 midnight when I crossed over to 6 to 1. Two, three, four, five. The morning began with me, and the body was not responding. And I would not allow that body to cross over and find that same body in the afternoon. No. The angel that came in the morning must get work to do. You are making them lazy. You are making them lazy. You are making them lazy. Let your angel begin to work for you. And remember, every day has morning, has afternoon, has evening, and there's a spiritual midnight. It's not meant for everybody. As for night, forget about night. It's not meant for everybody. Because night is meant for sleeping. So there are people who cannot sleep. And we call the angel of sleep to put a deep sleep on them. You don't get it. No, Bible says that there was a time that God wanted to make out of Adam and Eve. He put a deep sleep. There's an angel that is in charge of sleeping. That is why you can sleep and wake up. The refreshment and the refreshing nature of a man's handsomeness and the beauty of a woman comes out after going through a cycle of sleeping and waking up. Sleeping and waking up is equated to dying and resurrection. This morning you woke up. You are alive. You have been selected. You are too needed to be wasted. Don't waste what you are. The world has not come to an end because of you. Your world is not ended. You have no control over the morning. But you have control over yourself in the morning. You can't control what Akufado will say. You can't control what governance is saying. You can't control the economy. You can't control your wife. You can't control your husband. You can't control your children. But you can control yourself. In your morning, what did you achieve? The angel that comes every day. The morning angel. This is the assignment. Watch it. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone so you wake up in the morning oh god i am grateful for another day i went through the night 
and I am up this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. Oh, my morning angel. Lift me in your hands. Least I ditch my foot against a stone. It's an assignment. What is happening to my brother cannot be the same thing happening to me. My name is Counselor Lutro. I'm the only counselor so far. So what is happening to me will not happen to somebody else. I have control over myself, but I don't have control over the day. I cannot stop 7 o'clock from coming. I can't stop 9 o'clock from coming. But I can refuse myself not to achieve before 9 o'clock or achieve within 9 o'clock. The angels are supposed to be ministers unto our needs. My sister, I you see you are complaining for nothing. What have you done within your morning? Growing up, my grandmother made a statement. He says, if you want to marry, the woman you want to marry, go to their house in the morning and see her face when she wake up from bed. Because when everybody sleep and they wake up, their face is doom. You know doom? Go and look for doom, doom, doom. So I was asking myself, where from the word doom? Then I hear doom. You see? Na doom na. Doom e na. So they say doom e yefi. The girl language is the most strongest language in the whole wide world. Shatawale. Ah! Yesterday was good. <laughs> the Shatta movement changed Ghana history in musical and everywhere. The industry believed in Shatawale. Yesterday, Metro TV had a bite of their own cake. Paul Adumotri realized that the gamma has vibes and wisdom. Now, Shatawale, a man going for a night show. Who has dressed like it's at the summer? He said, I am in Miami Beach. Now, Boma de San Diego. Doom. Doom. And when a guy said, Doom, it means that whatever is covered in darkness, because the light comes and the darkness cannot comprehend, it will be exposed. When they say this to you, people think it's for evil things. No, 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 no. I have an auntie who tells me something every day. And when people repeat the same thing constantly, doubt it or not, it is the truth. She says, learn not to tell people everything. When I was doing my degree, I didn't tell anybody. When I'm going to the library, I tell people I'm going to do window shopping. So she was operating in the dark. Today, she's proud of her certificates and people are doubting. When did you make it? So I was with some friends in the office. We were talking. The next minute they call my line, cannot be rich because I have left Ghana to America. I didn't tell them I was going to America. It's not because I'm afraid of them. They can't stop me. But what at all? They have nobody in America to send them Kobe. I'm bringing your mind to something. Don't be a failure. Don't allow somebody's investment to go waste. And don't allow your own investment to be wasted on yourself. The angel that has been released for your morning has been given an assignment. Bear you in their hands that you will not dish your foot against any stone. What is a stone? As I wrap up today, what is a stone? Everybody have their own stone. Everybody have their stone. 
Maybe your stone is hunger. Omo yebo. No na ba ye lebine eko be. There is no hope. There is nothing showing I have been there before. Not because I am poor, but because I didn't see what I'm telling you. If you promise me, George Lutrox, that tomorrow morning I will do this for you, you are in trouble. Do you know why? Because the time you are promising me, the angel in charge of the afternoon was present. So he will not bear witness for the morning. So before the afternoon angel will leave, and you are promising me, I tell the afternoon angel, can you hear what my friend is saying? He says, your morning angel that will come tomorrow, Tuesday, he is going to bless me with money. So please, if you go and you meet your morning angel, and the selection is done, tell them to harass the man to give me the money in the morning. This is my secret. I didn't know it. So I blame the afternoon angel. I thought only one angel comes in the morning and will serve me till the night. But I realized that an angel is given in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night for spiritual exercise. My friend, I love you. That's why I'm sharing this with you. I have too much to do, especially sleeping. But as I lie down, hear this thing. A very sweet friend was chatting and she made this statement. And ever since she said it, from last week Wednesday till today, I have not rested on what she said. Hear what she said. She said, counselor, do you know something? I said, no. He said, do you know that everything that God did or made or created, they respond back to us. But everything that man has done cannot respond to us. Think about it. Think about it. I have not rested when she said it. The ear, the eyes, the mouth, the skin, everything that God created responds. Anything that man created has a limitation. So when God says that thou shalt not worship the things I have created, but worship me the creator, he's a wise God. It's true when my mobile phone is missing. And unfortunately, like my auntie's phone on silence. I been Auntie Kwali phone a laji. Phone and webo. You can't call it. Now nah, phone, eh? Hey. It has a name, but cannot respond. Phone, eh? Hey. Money. Money is very powerful. But if you misplace your $100 in the room, you can't call it hundred dollar. Why are you hundred dollar? Hundred dollar come, hundred dollar come. Oh no! Nah. But even cats, dogs, animals that God created, they speak back to creation. What kind of God are we talking about? What kind of man is this that even the wind obeys him? When he speaks, storm, be quiet. And the storms were quiet. My brother, my sister, you have rights to succeed even when you call yourself a failure. I feel sad for you that your child is 20 years, 15 years, 19 years, 10 years. And because the father didn't treat you well, you thought all men are like the father and you've not had a child again. Poor you. Wake up. Rise up. Because there are other better men. Like me. Or you think I'm not a better man? Make a mistake and come and marry me. Come and pay my bride price. And you will see. That I'm a good man. As a matter of fact, I was telling somebody last week that I'm not marrying my wife like my father married my mother. I will make that mistake. You don't understand it. 
If my wife makes a mistake to marry me like the way the mother married the father, I marriage will collapse because I am not the father. If there's any problem that one day my wife will pack her things and leave my house, I know the problem. Do you know the problem? I don't sleep. And it is not a news. Because I have something to do. And when I come to America, I'm happy more because you see, in America, I have two 12 o'clock. I have Ghana 12 o'clock and I have American 12 o'clock. So the power is something. Noko is Shanoko. Today, maybe you didn't know, but I came to provoke you that remember that a day contains a morning, an afternoon, an evening, and a night for spiritual activities. Don't venture in the night. Sleep. The night is meant for sleeping. So anybody who works in the night. So I came to America and I needed to do some things for some things to work in some more places. And you see, when God is pushing you, yesterday I had a testimony. Me, I had a testimony yesterday in America. Apart from me giving the opportunity to be an ambassador for WW Dot diasporandate.com it's a good deal I've won but yesterday something happened and I keep saying this to I mean my wife will be a testimony and I think Jane there's some few people around me that Charlie whatever I do they know about it that most of my deals that I secure I secure them in America the same people in Ghana that I don't get in touch with when they meet me in America there is an American favor on me so me, I will die as an American. You can be angry. Take your Ghana. I will be a Ghanaian, but I will die as a citizen of America. Because if you have not been to America before, what are you going to do in heaven? Oh, I love... You know, I love Evelyn so much there are times you don't understand why. And those of you who are jealous, it's good to be jealous. But every jealous person is a witch. See what she has written. He says, I love that. You have, you have right to succeed. Even when you thought you were a failure. It is right. You can't control the day. You can't control the hours. But you can control yourself within the day. Ah, Jesus. My time is up. Loni Josan. She talk. Nina wa plen, 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 plen. Ake yo. You know what it means? If you get fish, you know when fish is not well seasoned. Should I call it smell? No. Josan. How do you say Josan in English? This one, Google cannot find it. Ename ye nyay no. Me kwa no wa din ye didi. There are people around me that have forced them to achieve because I put hot pepper on them. I'm very friendly. And when it comes to my principles, I'm too strong. I'm very loving. I'm very caring. But when it comes to things, I stand with it. I love Delilah so much that I wish I had the opportunity to marry a Delilah. I've met women with some features of Delilah, but I've really not met Delilah yet. Because being a Delilah will sound mockery, but at the end thereof, there is a victory. Today, I've brought you a message of hope for the weekend. Your last week Friday in the morning, me, if I tell you what happened to my last week Friday, around, I went to the studio, so around 10. What happened to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you could have collapsed and died. But I have right over the day. 
I don't have rights over the day going back. Okay, fishy, fishy. Okay, okay. The English word is fishy. A fishy fish is eating with hot pepper. Oh, Evelyn, the English is not sweet. <laughs> A fishy fish, oh my god, a fishy fish is eating with hot pepper. Loni Josan, she told me now. Take control of, take control of your life. Finally, don't allow any wife to determine. The way your morning angel, your afternoon angel, your evening angel, and your night angel operates. Never give an opportunity to any husband to change the narrative in your life. Be an achiever. End a successful failure. Who has mastered failure like me people don't really show me what I deserve even when I'm being introduced people will have their way of introducing me but even when I walk onto the stage and I'm not spoken I have introduced myself yesterday in the night deep at night after the chat with Paul Adumotri and Shatawale, Shatawale made a statement. He said, He is a lion because God is in him. Listen to Shatawale. He says, Uncle, I am a lion because God is a lion. And because I have a lion spirit in me, I'm not interested in cockroaches, spiders, ants. It was a deep thing. You see, I think too much, maybe. Satawali, yesterday in the night. You know why? Because what he says every day, we don't take it serious. But he's telling me that because he, Shatawali, is a lion. Ah, <laughs> I believe I write my note. You will pay, you will pay, you will pay. Be an achiever. And a successful failure. Are you okay? You know, me, I'm not too intelligent. But whatever I say, I can repeat them. If, if you ask me. And I'm not reading. I'm just reading scriptures here. Thank you, Evelyn, for the question. And I love that interactiveness. You know, I love when people are interacting with my lectures. It makes me feel welcome. It makes me feel very important. It makes me feel that somebody is there. Wisdom is a principal thing. And it is application of knowledge. <laughs> eh, so let me finish my statement. Lions are interested in big meat. Hello? Lions are interested in big meat. Why will a lion concern itself with chicken, house flies, cockroaches? I bite big. I can't leave a show without leaving a mark. So you can sit there and say what you want to say. He's shouting too much. Is he the only person who is talking? I met a big man about last week. I went for a funeral. Breeding Amitya's father's funeral. And I met a very senior, senior old pastor. And he took a decision to advise me. <laughs> yes, successful failure. Look at what he said. I watch you so much. But I think that we are making your point. 
you shout. So it doesn't make listening to you nice. You stop. And don't defend yourself. Allow people to say what they want to say. I listened to what he said. It didn't make sense to me. But it was I was with my angel in the afternoon. And he was speaking in the afternoon. So the angel was taking me away from me hitting the stone of becoming discouraged. I left him. And I said, if you, at your age, with your experience, you listen to me, I won't stop talking. I'm too handsome. Especially when I come to America. There's something about me in America. I see it. No, I see it. My friend, are you a lion or a cockroach? Now listen to the mentality of an elephant. An elephant is huge than a lion. But any time, any time you find that an elephant sees a lion, the first thing that comes into